Hello, we're here in another interview. I'm gonna allow her to introduce herself. Hello, I'm Linnea Engström from Sweden. I'm 60 years old and I do freestyle trampoline on my free time. You're one of the youngest athletes in the women's side of the competition. So how do you feel about that? It's cool. I mean, I don't complain about being one of the youngest. How many times did you have to train to be here? I didn't train so much because like, I got stressed like uh, the week before like, flying. So I just hang out with my friends and try to like forget I was going here so I can train here in Step. I meant more like how many times have you been training uh, freestyle trampoline and all the stuff? Uh, two years. That's a really short time for the skills that she already had. Well, I wanted us to ask you also about the women's part of the community because uh, we know that this is only the second year that uh, we are doing it. And what do you think about that side? Is Do you think that it's growing? Um, I think it's growing like a little bit, but not too much. Especially not in Sweden because like I think I'm the only one in Sweden doing this. I wanted to ask you about the community of freestyle trampoline in Sweden? I think it's good, like uh, everybody knows each other, everybody's kind, like everybody's so kind, like they doesn't care if I'm a girl and I do flips like. That's how we do it in our community, we can brag a little bit about it. I wanted to ask you about your round specifically, because if you said that you were a little bit stressed and all that stuff, how did you manage with it on the stage? I just think uh, like uh, mentally I was like there alone, I just like uh, heard the music and like uh, don't uh, look to the crowd, so that just made me land my trick. We're here with Alex Osborne. I'm gonna allow him to introduce himself. Hello, uh, my name's Alex, I'm from Australia. First time here in Europe doing trampoline, so I'm really, really excited about that whole opportunity. And I've been doing flips for a long time. Most of the people here competing have been my friends on social media for many years. And I guess the biggest thing is just, uh, you know, I got to meet all of the people I've been friends with for so long, which is really cool. Yeah, as I said, you're the only one from Australia. Has been the, the trip to come here to compete? It's the main flight is about 16 hours um, from Perth to Rome. You know, it, it can be a little bit annoying, but I, as someone that kind of travels regularly, it's not anything like unusual to me. I'm quite used to sitting around in airports and sitting on planes, so I wasn't too bad and yeah, I kind of managed to sleep on the plane a little bit. I was I was ready for Barcelona by the time I got here. I wanted to ask you also about your training over there. Bounce Trampoline Park, um, they sponsored me to come overseas here, which is really, really cool. Um, it's kind of the first time that that's you know, happened in Australia, so really exciting that, that opportunity. Um, I do have a bounce about five minutes away from my house, which is awesome. We've got some wall tramps and a nice super tramp there, so it's really fun to train. And then um, the awesome thing about bounce is it's such a big trampoline Park, it doesn't really matter where you go, there's pretty much always a bounce there. So, yeah. for example, I was in Sydney a few weeks before coming here. I, there was a bounce there, so I went and trained, um, which is like really convenient. Obviously, the training is a little bit less than what these guys in Europe are doing. Um, we don't have the facilities like these guys, but you know, we still make do with what we've got. Also, we wanted to ask, how was your first time in a Eurotram? Uh, the Eurotram freestyle, however, the five square is my first time trying uh, at this competition. Um, it was a bit unfortunate for me that I wasn't really used to the trampoline and the kind of the way it works, um, you know, which it happens, every trampoline is different and um, it is just about, you know, being able to adapt to the conditions. Um, hopefully next year I'll be able to come back and, and try again, but um, I, I, we've just had another day after the finals of, of jumping on it and I'm much more comfortable with it now, so it's a lot easier. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying that I'm comfortable after the competition, but yeah, it is what it is. It's been really awesome. Um, it's a very bouncy trampoline for sure. Um, and Eurotramp's done very well. Thank you so much, Alex. Well, goodbye. See you guys. Hi, yeah. Hi, yeah. Nice. Also, 